Welcome to this presentation on getting started on EPA Pro. This presentation will show you step by step how to use the key features of EPA Pro. We will cover Welcome to EPA Pro, Navigating your dashboard, your main menu, notifications, setting up your provider profile, registering your apprentices, employers, accessing support materials and support routes. Welcome to EPA Pro. EPA Pro is our new EPA service delivery platform bringing the end-to-end -end EPA journey from registration to results all in one place. The eight stage journey of EPA. EPA consists of eight key stages as presented in this timeline. In this guide, we'll focus on stage three. Please familiarize yourself with our eight stage journey. You can download your copy by using the link to our website. Whether you have migrated onto EPA Pro or you are a brand new customer, the primary contact at your centre will receive an email invitation to create a password for EPA Pro. When you first log in, you will use your email address as your username and should you forget your password once created, you can reset this easily at any time. We suggest that you save the login page to your favourites for easy access. The Dashboard When you log on to EPA Pro, the first screen you will see is the dashboard. This shows you a snapshot of your apprentice's journey. You will see the number of new apprentices enrolled, gateway completed, new results and new certificates. Your calendar will be populated with the EPA activity for your centre. This can be viewed by day, week or month, depending on your preference. The menu. On the left hand side of the screen, you will see the main menu. This will allow you access to all the necessary actions on EPA Pro. We will go into more detail of some of these functions in this guide. We highly recommend that you familiarise yourself with the menu and what is in each drop down box, as this will help you to navigate around the system. The notifications. Next to your username in the top right hand corner, you will see the notifications bell. This will inform you of all the notifications regarding your apprentices stages, such as gateway dual completed, results available and assessments planned. Clicking onto a notification will take you to the record for that apprentice. You can remove the notifications from the list, either by marking as read or deleting them. Editing profiles. Editing and adding profiles. Whether you are migrating onto EPA Pro or a brand new customer, you will be set up with a provider primary user. In the top right hand corner of the dashboard, you will see your username. From here, you can do the following. Edit your profile, edit your company profile, edit and view sub users, and log out. Only primary users can create sub users. However, once created, all users have the same permissions. When you click on Edit Profile, it will take you to the Edit My Profile tab. When you first log on, please review your details to ensure they are correct. The Security tab is for you to change or update your password to the system. We would also recommend that you add your electronic signature in this section, as this will help you with the gateway declaration later in the process. Registering your apprentices. Registering your apprentices. Apprentices can be added one by one using the Add Apprentice tab, or in bulk by using the Import Apprentice tab. You can access both of these options by using the Apprentice tab from the dashboard. Adding your apprentices one by one. To add an individual apprentice, select apprentices from the main menu on the dashboard, then add apprentice. Work through the four tabs, ensuring all mandatory fields are completed. To allow the apprentice access, toggle allowed login methods to green. Bulk uploading your apprentices. To bulk upload your apprentices, select Apprentices in the main menu and then select Import Apprentices. This will open the bulk upload section. 
From here, select the required action type, choose your file and upload. Hints and tips for adding apprentices. Workplace details is the address used to send the ESFA certificates. In the user details tab, please use an email address for the username. Reasonable adjustments was previously known as access arrangements. This is where you will advise us if the apprentice requires any additional time. There must be at least 366 days between the expected start date and the expected date ready for EPA. Toggle green to give apprentices access to EPA Pro. We hope you will want to give all of your apprentices access to the EPA Pro platform. This is a simple option at registration as just shown. Apprentices view is a simplified version of the platform, giving them access to four key areas their individual calendar of EPA activity and events, their individual notifications, access to support materials tailored to their standard, and personal profile area with a view of progress throughout their EPA. Under support materials and their welcome pack, we have a short presentation, introduction of the apprentice journey in EPA Pro. This presentation will give the training provider an understanding of the journey for an apprentice in EPA Pro, from accessing the platform and support resources, following their progress through EPA, to the final EPA events, results and final certification. Adding your employers. It is not a mandatory requirement for employers to have access to EPA Pro. It is at the discretion of the training provider. ESFA certificates will be sent to the address provided in the workplace details under Apprentice. Adding employers. In the same way as adding your apprentices, you can add an employer individually or as a bulk upload. To add an employer one by one, use the Add Employer tab. Or for bulk upload, use the Import Employers tab. Both these options can be found under the employers from the main menu on the dashboard. Once an employer has been created, you can make changes by clicking on the pencil icon under edit. Adding an employer one by one, select employers from the main menu, then select add employer. Work your way through each tab, completing the mandatory fields. On the standards tab, you'll see any standards you're approved to deliver. Select which ones relate to that employer. In the primary user details tab, toggle allowed login methods to green if you want to give the employer access to EPA Pro. Bulk import of employers. Select employers from the main menu, then select import employer. This will open the bulk upload section. From here, select the required action type Choose your file and upload. For all bulk upload functions in EPA Pro, if you access the helpers drop down, you'll be able to download an example CSV file, giving you the format required and example content. Once populated with your data, simply upload the CSV file. Support resources. Support resources. Access support materials from the main menu on the dashboard. Selection will provide a drop down of all the available resources. A wealth of support materials can be accessed in one place. Any employers and apprentices given access to EPA Pro will only be able to view and access support resources applicable to them. What support materials are available? Examples include welcome packs, gateway support, sample tests, recording forms, FAQs and useful links. We're always keen to hear your feedback on our EPA service, so please use our simple feedback link to send us ideas or improvements you'd like to see from us. You can access the feedback link by clicking on the image in the slide, through our endpoint assessment service page on our website, or by following the link in our useful links section on EPA Pro. If you need support from us, you can contact our centre support team who can be reached by email, phone or web chat using the details on the slide. We have a team waiting to solve any issues you might have. 
Thank you. We hope you found this presentation useful. We also have presentations to assist you with gateway and assessment progress through to results.